Hi there, this is Adam from Brighton and Hove Guitar Lessons and this is our lesson video on the Kings of Leon's The Bucket. Hope you enjoy. Okay, let's get stuck into this track then. So, uh, this is a great song by the Kings of Leon, um, and it's great in its simplicity. There are three chords in this song, and it's what they do with these three chords that make it interesting. Um, you have most of the song, which is D, A, and G, and then there are different uh, things that the guys do on top of that, and then there's the chorus, which is G, A, and D. So it's always those same three chords, um, and we're going to go through it uh, piece by piece now. So the song starts, the intro, with this high guitar part. Now, so this leads us straight into what I wanted to talk about, which is how they use the cage system to go about these three different chords in different ways. So in this intro, they use the D shape of the cage system. If you need a quick reminder, the cage system is the idea that there are only three main, uh, five main guitar chord shapes, and that is C, A, G, E, and D. So they use this D chord shape. They use it right up here at the 14th fret, which is a D chord. They also use the open D string here and they're doing all down strokes and then they stretch the little finger up to the 17th fret and pull it back off to ring out the, uh, the F sharp note underneath there and then they move this D shape down to an A chord but still using the same D shape again still using this open D string underneath it to make a little clash but it sounds really cool uh, and again, stretch that little finger up to the 12th fret and pull it off to the, uh, the D shape underneath again. And then they move that shape again down to the G chord at the 7th fret. And instead of doing a big stretch to the 10th fret, as you'd assume, they stretch to the 9th fret here. And uh, as I said, it's, it's important to do all down strokes to capture the, the feel of what they're doing. Um, and then that leads straight into what we'll call the main riff of the song. And here they, so they're still playing over those same three chords, but now instead of using a D shape from the cage system, they're using a C shape from the cage system. So let's quickly just uh, figure out exactly what it is they're doing. So if this is your C shape, and the idea that you can move it around using the cage system means you need to refret a C. This isn't part of the song, by the way. This is just explaining how it works. If you refret the chord like that, and then were to move it up two frets and put your finger down there, you've created a D chord, but using a C shape. So what they do is they take that now D chord up an octave to here. Now they don't actually play that chord, but they're using that shape to create a riff. So, that is, the, the, the chord shape that we're talking about is a um, 16th fret on the D string, 14th fret on the G string, and 15th fret on the B string. But they start by holding this uh, dyad, the dyad is a two note, two note chord, uh, they hold uh, a 14th fret on the G string and a 15th fret on the B string there, but they start with um, an additional note on the G string, 16th fret, and pull off to that 14th fret note on the G string 
and then put that same finger down on the 16th fret of the D string and then back to the dyad again. So every single hit that you do is two notes. Three times. And then again, like they did with the intro, they move that shape down to the relevant position to make it an A chord. So you've got an A chord using a C shape. And they've applied the exact picking pattern, the exact idea of two notes at a time, two strings at a time. Again, it sounds best all downstroked. And then they move that shape down a further two frets. G chord, again using the C shape from the cage system. And that takes us to the verse of the song. So in the verse you've got two guitar parts, uh, one of them is the intro, so this part again, etc, going down to the A chord, going down to the G chord, and underneath you also have octaves on the uh, A and G strings. So it starts with the note D, again all downstrokes to an A octave on the, low, uh, on the low E string and the D string, and then move that down two frets to the G octave, hold it for twice as long, and that's played twice. Um, there is a technique unto itself there playing octaves, especially when you're doing downstrokes, because there's this string in the middle. So you've got, you have a note in the middle, this D string. So uh, there is a, there's a knack to it. You sort of use the top finger to rest loosely on the string that you want to not hear. So you are in theory hitting that string but nothing is coming out, or at least nothing particularly loud. And you can just hear that octave. Because normally in this situation you'd be playing perhaps a power chord, but that's not what they're doing. They're specifically doing just that octave. Okay? Very nice. And then we get to the chorus, which is a simple swap around of two of, of, of the three chords. Uh, and you just play them open. So, G. This is for the 18 balding bit, which has a very special relevance to me. And then uh, back into the D chord. So they've gone from a, a progression that goes D, A, G into a progression that goes G, A, D. It's literally inverted, it's flipped around. So they go G, A, and then they go to a D chord and you have this very memorable line. which is simply a D triad, like we did in the intro, and you're picking upwards across it. Now, if you're, a, if you're on a guitar that perhaps doesn't go up quite that high, you can do it down here, an octave lower. Um, that brings us to the second verse, where they do the, again, they do the intro guitar part up here, and the other guitarist is doing the octaves. And then there is a reintro, we'll call it, a reintro of the riff, the. And then that goes into the final bit of the song, which I don't really have a name for, uh, but it's when the, the high melody that we looked at in the chorus has a slight variant to it. So let's just go through that. The first one is the D chord that we had before, played with the same pattern. And then you're sort of flipping that chord around. You're going 14 on the G string, 12 on the B string, 14 on the high E string. So these two notes remain the same from the last chord and you're just lowering the B string note from the 15th to the 12th. 
And then finally you have this chord where uh, I suggest you bar the 12th fret across the top three strings like that and then use your little finger to do the 15th fret on the B string. So you're going 12 on the high E, 15 on the B, 12 on the G. So again that part. Twice. And then you're at the end with the final chorus, we'll call it G, A, and then a big stab on a D chord. And that's the whole song. Um, before I forget, there is a variant that you could do on the intro slash first part if your guitar doesn't have access to that higher fret. Um, so instead of doing this section, you could maybe do a two note chord, a dyad, on a lower fret. So for the D chord, you could do um, seven and seven on the G and B strings. Played that wrong. So seven and seven on the D string and the G and B strings, and then you add the 10th fret on the D string to that, much like we did this. So we're going. Then again, we move down to an A position. So we're doing two and two on the G and B strings. And you're putting your little finger down on the fifth fret of the B string. And then for the G chord, you can just do O and O on uh, the G chord and then add the second fret of the B string. And then you've got that part covered, but in an easier position perhaps to get to. And then likewise for the bit that goes, you could do that simply down here, an octave lower using just an open D chord. And then for the bit towards the end that goes, down here you could do, um, so the D chord, then two on the high, E string, open on the B string, and two on the G string. And then open on the high E, three on the B, and then open on the G. And so that's just the part up here, an octave lower, easier to get to. And that's it, that wraps it all up. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions for any future songs or video ideas for us, please leave them below and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Hi guys, I'm Adam and I'm Dave and we're from Brighton and Hove Guitar Lessons. We hope you enjoyed that video, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, click the little bell icon so that you get all the notifications and you don't miss any of the great quality content we've got planned for this year. If you have any questions about what you learnt today or any suggestions for any future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep rocking. See you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.